What is going on, everybody? I am so, so excited to introduce to you a brand new league for Madden 18. Now, I know, I know, I tried this before. I know I stopped making content for that league despite many of you asking for more. Well, I stopped covering that league because with so many trades, so many inflated stats, and so much unrealistic gameplay, I kind of lost grip on my vision of having what I had hoped would become a highly coveted, realistic online franchise with a true following. But now, thanks to the help of some of even you, my subscribers, some other helpers, and the lessons I have learned as commissioner of other leagues, I can proudly say that we are building something truly special here. So without further ado, welcome to That Franchise Guy Online. So what is this? What am I watching here, you might be asking? This is a highly sim league, tight regulations aiming to make this a realistic Madden experience, something you can't get in the normal game because of a lot of flaws the EA has. So we have a board of directors. We have tight rules in place to aim for the following heavy sim. So what we're talking about here, not calling the same play all the time, not inflating stats, giving your opponent time to set their defense before you snap the ball, playing the game like you see it on Sundays. We are policing trades. All trades have to go through the front office. It won't be like the last league where by week three, you're basically playing in a fantasy draft because everyone has reshaped their teams. You can only trade players if it makes sense that that team would trade that player. There are now requirement for position changes. No more moving linebackers to safety without a drop off in zone coverage. No more playing wide receivers at tight end. You can't move a guard to a tackle and expect the same performance. There's a drop off for that. We are combating the awful regression system that Madden 18 has. We are going to manually upgrade the speed after players regress at an embarrassing 29 years old. Julio Jones minus two speed after the first year, no more. We're going in 72 hour advance periods. And of course, we are using my roster for realism to simulate that real emphasis on the difficulty of finding star players in the NFL and not just star players, but the difficulty in finding good quality starters. You can go back and watch my full recap on my roster if you want, but as you can see in this graph here, yet again, there are just so many less players in that starting tier of 74 to 84 in my roster compared to EA's vanilla roster. And if you wanna read through all the rules we've got for this franchise set up, there is a link to our CBA agreement in the description, and so do check that out. Moving on, let's cover the trades that we had in the preseason as we are now entering week one. Uh, there was some movement, though there are tight restrictions on trades. There's definitely some good movement happening. So we got the Seahawks trading Deshaun Shedd to the Lions. The Lions getting some cornerback help. Seahawks trying to get younger at corner. And then myself playing as the Packers. I traded for Ezekiel Ansa. I am switching to a 4-3 scheme. My team desperately needed that additional edge rusher to complement Nick Perry on the D-line. Lions willing to move Ezekiel Ansa in the last year of his deal. So I give up a third round pick and a conditional pick, something that is new in this franchise. That pick could be as high as a fifth round pick this year uh, if Ezekiel Ansa lands 15 plus sacks. The Cowboys sending Anthony Hitchens to the Colts who desperately need some linebacker help for a fifth round pick. The Jets getting Trevor Simeon, possibly their starting quarterback this year for a fifth round pick. The Saints and Rams swapping players, Kenny Vaccaro from the Saints to the Rams for Dominique Easley. The Seahawks sending a pair of players, Paul Richardson and Thomas Rawls for some edge rush help to the Chargers for Jeremiah Atuachu in the final year of his deal and a seventh round pick. And then the Broncos trading Virgil Green and Bradley Roby for a second round pick from the Jets. So a big move there. That's the highest pick value swapping hands among all these trades. Then we've got the Seahawks making a big move again. And we have a trade quota of three trades per season. So the Seahawks have hit their trade quota already, but they are moving Jimmy Graham to build that offensive line. A great move for the Seahawks, in my opinion, something we might see them do this offseason. Uh, getting Charles Leno from the Bears, a good starting left tackle for a fourth and sixth round pick as well. And then the Browns making a move here, 
uh, going to get Avery Williamson to round out that good linebacking core there, uh, making that move for a fourth and a sixth round pick. And then the Eagles trading Trey Burton, their backup tight end, to the Colts, who need some receiving help for a fourth and a seventh round pick. So that is all the trades from the preseason. I will keep you up to date on all trades that happen as we're doing weekly recaps here on the channel. For our game of the week this week, it is my game. The Packers versus the Seahawks. I will be streaming it live here on that franchise guy on YouTube. The first ever live stream. Assuming all goes well, I'm also playing Hawking Regime. He's another YouTuber that's going to be covering this channel. Make sure you check out his channel as well. You can also follow the league now for the first time online at our Daddy Leagues page. You will not want to miss out. Head over there. The link's in the description. You can follow stats, transactions. You can check the rosters that have been uploaded to the website. You can see everything you need to know about the league. And then, guys, if you want in the league, let me know on Twitter at TFG underscore football. Also, stay tuned. There will be a Twitter being created for this league itself. We have had such high demand getting in this league, so you're going to want to get on that waiting list as soon as possible. I'm so excited to get this thing rolling. I think it's really going to be something truly special. I'm hoping you guys enjoy it. Do comment with stuff you want to see in this league as well. It's really going to help me and the other guys putting this league up uh, get this thing rolling and really generate some interest in this thing. So that does it for the first recap here. Again, tune in this afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern for the game of the week here on this channel. As always, cheers, everyone. We'll see you next time.